Hello again, YouTubers. This is Treasure Detector. I wanted to share with you what I consider to be one of my favorite knives. I think I started collecting knives from the time that I was very young, but because I was young and ignorant and inexperienced, I gave a lot of my knives away and I just did not really discipline myself to take care of them. So I ended up selling some, trading some at pawn shops, but Lately, I have learned to appreciate a well-made item, in this case, knives. And what we have here for you today is what I consider a rare knife. I have only seen one other of these knives. And that other knife, which is a predecessor to this one, I bought at a Salvation Army with a nice Mexican sheath, but it was in very poor condition. The bolsters, the handles were pitted and uh, the blade itself had a lot of sharpening to it and I really liked the knife. It had beautiful smooth action as I'm going to show you this one does. The knife I'm talking about here is a Utica Japan knife and I'm sure you can tell by looking at the lines on this knife you can see the Japanese influence. <clears throat> it's about five inches long closed more or less maybe four and seven eighths inches um, it's a great knife. The first knife I had like this, I ended up selling on eBay, getting more than I paid for it initially at Salvation Army. And the reason I sold it was because um, I was inexperienced at polishing the knives and I tried to polish it and to the point where I think I damaged the bolsters a little bit more. And I decided, you know what, this is still a very functional knife. and and it does have a unique look to it but uh, I'm gonna sell it see if somebody else will enjoy it well once I sold it I missed it I felt like I had made a mistake and so then for one or two years I kept perusing eBay until one day after entering Utica Japan brass and wood lockback knife it appeared <coughs> and uh, this was about eight years ago that all this happened, and I've had this knife for quite a while, many years, and and um, it's one of my main carry pieces, and I'm going to show you why in a little bit. This knife is wood and brass, as you can see. The Japanese influence is very obvious. It is a Utica brand knife. Um, it's a Utica Japan, which I haven't seen very much of. The blade itself keeps an incredibly good edge. It is a fantastic blade. I would rate the quality of this knife up there with a Seki brand knife or a Kai. Um, it is a lock back knife as you can see. To close it you press this in. Fit and finish of this knife is very good but I want you to hear this. I want you to take a listen to this when I close it. Beautiful. See, that's a wonderful sound. <clears throat> to a knife collector uh, that collects pocket knives, uh, there's almost no better sound in the world. Um, now, I want you to listen to it open. Beautiful click. Smooth action. Um, no play at all. No play. Um, very uh, nice knife. The lines on this knife are very attractive. Um, another thing I want to show you about this knife is that the action is so smooth on this knife when you open and close it that if you just prop it up with your fingers, give it a little flick, it opens quite easily. <clears throat> the redwood type of uh, wood that it uses, the brass pins, brass bolsters, it has a stainless steel uh, spine on it, the spring, um, the blade polishes up nicely. This is a good looking knife. Uh, there's not very many out there. I have not found another one. I think I was fortunate to run into two. And as I don't have that first one anymore, I missed that one as well. But I'm letting you guys know these things are out there. And if anyone has one of these knives, hey, uh, send me a message and show me a picture, you know, and uh, we'll compare details. This is one of my main carry pieces. I, I like that one very much. So much so that I made a little sheath that I carry with it on it. 
Um, I sometimes dabble in making things out of leather, so made a little leather sheath for that. So this the action on this is so smooth that if you just close that lockback mechanism for a little bit, it starts to slide close and then you just close it one hand. Um, slides in like that. So made that sheath for it um, so I can wear it on my belt, <coughs> pull it out whenever I need it. It's a very, very uh, well-made knife. There's a few of these out there, guys, I'm sure. I have not seen more than two of these in my lifetime. So uh, be on the lookout, you know? And if you happen to see one of these, snatch it up. I'm telling you, it's a good buy. I think I bought this knife around $13 or $14, simply because people were not familiar with it. And so I entered on eBay Utica, Japan. And this was, oh, many years ago. I don't know how many years ago I bought this knife. Probably more than 10. But until next time, um, YouTubers, this is Treasure Detector. Uh, please like my videos and share my videos. And have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you.